Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me over Q3 of the bi-weekly contest 132. Find the maximum length of the good subsequence one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, this one and the Q4 only differs... Oops, spoiler alert. Oops. Put on the screensaver by accident. Uh, only differs by um, 500 and 5 times 10 to the third, right? Or 5,000 in English. So 10 times bigger and there's a 50 and 25. So it's, you know, the constraints are different. Um, I'm going to go over this in terms of the steps. Probably watch both videos if you're really curious. Uh, more clicks for Larry. But no, um, but yeah, I because I, I actually did try to solve it for 500 first and then think about the other one later. So it's not like, you know, like in times where I solved them both at the same time, maybe I could have I don't know. We'll do it in a different format. But this is dynamic programming, right? Basically, the key thing is that um, this is a little bit awkward in the way that they phrase it, but but the idea is the idea that I have is just um, at most k indexes are different, right? So you can also think about it as every time. So if we're building a subsequence. Every time we see a new number that is different from the last number, we increment a thing. Like you go, let's say k is like the max. I don't know, k is such a nondescriptive thing, right? But if you think about it as like a, a cap or a limit, now that means that you can change the last element n times or k times, sorry, right? Limit times. And yeah, and that's basically the idea. So this is how I did it. Right, I made a silly mistake because I, I, um, oh, I will go over the silly mistake later. But basically, here we're saying, um, so we have index and delta. Index is the last element in the subsequence, right? And then delta is just the number of changes. That's why I call it delta. And this is cap by x, right? Oh, sorry, cap by k. And this is all of n, right? Because there's only n of them. Um, yeah, and then because there's a for j and n loop, so this is going to be O of n, oops, n squared times k times. And of course, this is just 500 times 500 times 25. So that's how this works. Um, yeah, oh, that's how it's fast enough. And it's a little bit faster than that because it is actually 500 choose 2. It just means that it is twice as fast as 500 squared, which... You know, you know, lead code and Python, it's, you know, it's, there are a lot of mistakes to be made. So that's why. But yeah, so this is the idea. And the idea here is that just like, you know, this is the la last element. So this is the last element, right? So now we brute force the next element um, by just doing a for loop. And if the next element is the same, then we set an, in, you know, um, we set an increment of zero, meaning that we don't change delta. You could write this in a different way for sure. For example, um, like maybe this is a little bit awkward. I don't know why I wrote it this way now that I think about it. But you can say that you could break into cases, which is that, okay, if they're the same, then it is just this, right? Uh, inc for increment. And then else best is you go max best go j um, delta plus one, um, plus one, right? One. You always do a plus one because it's the um, it adds to the length, right? And best is one because if you don't add anything else, then the, you only use the current element, and current element is the last element of subsequence. So that's why. Um, yeah. And so this, this uh, let me double check by running it because maybe I changed something by accident. Oh, I did change something by accident. Uh, hmm. The, the different. Uh oh, spaghetti. -oh. What did I do? Huh, I lied to you. Sorry, friends. Oh, 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 oh. Because we have to make sure that um, if delta is less than, or delta plus one is less than k, or equal to k. Okay. I know that I could put it in the else if, but I just, I think this is slightly clearer. Whoops, silly miss. Oh, I, I don't, I just removed something and I forgot about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's taking so long because the other one worked, but, uh, hmm, okay. Yeah, so th that's basically um, the idea, right? Is that if we, um, yeah, and in, in a way, you also skip over the other numbers. So these are just, 
way deliberately adding physical subsequences or um, just picking the next number in the subsequence one at a time so you don't have to skip. There's a variation of this where you could uh, make it, so this is n squared times k. Time and space is actually all of n times k, right? Because that's just index times delta uh, or n times k. So this is the space. There's a version of this where you can rewrite this as also n squared times k um, for the space as the input. Like you just add a dimension for like last index or something like this. Uh, and then you just do it one at a time, like take, no take, if you want to uh, take that notation. Um, but, you know, for here, this is fine. And this is the Q3 solution. How do we get to the Q4 solution? Well, we'll talk about it in the Q4 part. Um, I think it's actually, I, I like the, uh, a little bit of spoiler. I really do like the Q4 optimization. I'm really happy and proud that I was able to do it because I feel like it was just, I was just able to do it because it was just, like it's hard for sure, it's difficult for sure, but I was able to do it, which makes me happy, I guess. Because I do recognize that it's something that, maybe another way to phrase it is that I think it's something that I could not have done 10 years ago, you know? Like I was very good at DP, but I never was good at making these kind of observations about the matrix in a way that um, I think is new-ish new to me. Because um, I feel like I've been doing more and more on lead code, um, but... But yeah, but but yeah, this is a good application of it, and it requires some proof, so definitely check that out. But for this video, I'm done for now. Uh, I know that I'm if if you're starting out in dynamic programming, then I apologize that this video, the explanation may be a little bit short. Um, but definitely, um, this is something that I this Q3 is probably I would expect it maybe a little bit on the more difficult side. But still, something that I expect most interviewers would, or um, uh, interviewees, yeah, if you're interviewing, then I think this is probably around the level of DP that you should be able to do. So definitely work on it. Um, my, I think my explanation is, is assumes that you already know dynamic programming uh, to some basic degree. So if you want a more in-depth dynamic programming um, explanation, definitely check. Do more daily prompts, and I I have a lot of videos on those. I, I tend to spend more time on those, but uh, but yeah, um, that's all I have for Q three. I'm gonna go over Q four in the next video, so definitely check that out. Thanks for watching, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Yeah, YOLO. Maybe I'm off by one in like some places. To be honest, okay, a little bit silly on that one. Okay, find the maximum length of a good subsequence one. And we engine away nums and non of k, a sequence of injury. It's called good if there are at most k indexes i in the range 0 to n minus 2 or something, right? Such that i is not i plus 1. What? what? At most k index in the range. This is inclusive, which is why this like negative 2 is so awkward. It's just saying that, so there, um, so what's an, it's like another way of saying it is, um, wait, subsequence or substring? No, subsequence. Uh, okay. Um, and we're talking maximum length when accounting. What am I thinking of? Okay, let's rekindle. K is equal to zero. What does K is equal to zero mean? Uh, K equals zero means that no number is different, and basically it's not even no numbers. It's just mm. what does this mean? K could be at most twenty five. Okay, does that change thing? Oh, and n is five hundred. I should look at the constraints first. Um, am I DPing? Is there a DP for five hundred? Um, the number is 10 to the 9. Hmm, it's such an awkward problem. N plus whatever. Oh, it's just not in a row. Right? Uh, what am I thinking? But then, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just DP then, right? Is it fast enough? 500. 500 times 25 times 500, what is that? 
that, that's tight. Uh, that's 6.25 mil. Can I reduce that? Well, I guess it's choose two, so it's only 3 million. All right, let's YOLO it. We'll see. I don't know if this is fast enough. Only because it's decoded. In any other platform, in any respectable platform, there should be no question at all. But, okay. So we have um, index and then delta for K, I think. Um, yeah, if index is equal to N. No, we don't need to do that. Best is equal to zero. We return best. And, or... I guess one for this current number. Um, and then now for eh, J in range of index plus one N, if nums up index is equal to num sub J, then we don't increment, right? So maybe we have something like this. This is way, always way awkward. Then now best is equal to max best go of j um, delta plus increment. But we have to say, I mean, that's pretty much it, but, um, but we have to check that this is less than k, right? One one, that's definitely not right. Um, oh wait, I have to do this as plus one. What am I doing? Yeah. Oops. Four two. Okay, that's YOLO. And with time limits, I'll be a little bit sad. Oh, now I'm really sad. Zero. Oh, I see. Yeah, I am just dumb. I that is actually a legitimate mistake, uh, which is that uh, silly Larry. I I was lazy on this one. I didn't really. F I yeah, I just watched this one. There's no no uh, nothing about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, that was just silly. I didn't really think about the constraints. I just kind of got lazy, and I, I was. Going, I was thinking too fast about Q4. Well, like I didn't think about it, but I was hoping to go to it. That just silly. Oh, and this is a harder one. What is the? Uh, I Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's from this contest explanation. Everything we train. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.